Hi guys and dolls, Michelle back with another video. Today I'll use these products to create an easy peasy gel set. I'm using uh, full coverage stiletto tips and that polish is from Sensationale. It's called Move It or Lose It. It's a beautiful, actually it's a really pretty color. I love that one. And I forgot I had it when I was going through my stuff to see what I wanted to use. I really wanted to use that glitter and it matches really well. So I just did full cover on the thumb and ring finger and half of the pinky. I just show you the one coat. Full 60 second cure and here we are two coats in now I'm, I'm going to use those uh, water decals the pink marble water decals they are beautiful I should have shaped them a little bit prior to applying I didn't think of course I didn't think but they are really big they're huge and they cover the entire tip. And those tips are pretty long. So these are great if you have long nails and you want to do a water decal on them. Full coverage water decal. They're fantastic. But they are really wide. Stork scissors. I finally got myself some stork scissors from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks for five pairs. One pair is going in a future giveaway. Just so you know. They're really, really, really sturdy. Very, very good quality. I did order a pair from Amazon ages ago, but they didn't come. I got reimbursed. They never, ever came. That was like a year ago or more. So I'm just putting down some uh, base coat so that the water decals slide. I did do the pinky. I don't know what happened to that footage because I did do the pinky. <clears throat> Just pressing out the water. You only need to leave them in for like 10 seconds or so. I just put a little bit of water on the backing and leave them on the little silicone pad there or any paint palette or, or whatever you want in a tray. Just spray, put some water on the backing and they slide off beautifully. And just dab off the excess water, put it where you want it, and bada bing, bada boom. I see there's a lot of excess. Now that's easily taken care of. A lot of excess water decal, I mean. That's easily taken care of with a file and some either um, acetone or regular nail polish remover will take off the excess. I did break it when I was pushing it on there. I stretched it and I broke it, but it's okay. You'll see later that I kind of fixed it. I got a little too rough with it. I don't know what the heck I was doing. But yeah, an old file just to shave off the edges, which you should do anyway with any nail wraps because I've said it before and I'll say it again, the top coat needs to touch the nail, not the nail art. It needs to be completely encapsulated. So yeah, just buff it lightly on the edges or you you will have lifting. I broke it there up in the right hand corner by the cuticle on that nail and on this nail I broke it right across the middle well not right across the middle it's up toward the cuticle but you see that little tear in there so I try to fix it but of course you can still see the tear and then I come in with a little clean up brush and just clean up around the edges and that's it try and pop that back on <laughs> Because it's up close on camera, it's it's pretty visible. But on your hands, unless someone's really inspecting them, you wouldn't even see that. But see how easily it comes off with polish remover? Actually, it's acetone. I'm using acetone. I don't have any regular polish remover. Even on regular polish, I just use acetone. I only use regular polish on my toes anyway and, and stamping polish. But I don't use acetone for stamping polish, obviously, or it'll ruin whatever's underneath. But yeah, just like wipes right off. Beautiful. 
I'm going to put a little piece of striping tape at the end there on the pinky. Oh, man alive. I love the effect that striping tape gives, but I hardly ever use it because it's a pain in the butt. But it does look nice. You shouldn't touch it with your fingers or your gloves. You'll take away the sticky, but you know what? Because this is a practice hand and these tips are just going in a baggie, I wasn't too concerned, but you really shouldn't touch it with your hands. And you should always cut it just shy of the edge of the nail, Any, anywhere you're putting, whether it's the cuticle, the sidewalls, the tip of the nail, cut it just a millimeter shy. So again, the top coat adheres to the nail and not the nail art. Now I'm going in with a little bit of Office Gossip. That one's from Madam Glam, the Office Collection. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of detail on the marble. Try and hide my flaws, basically. I think I need to change my camera angle. My hair is in the way all the time recently. I do wipe that off. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted finer lines. I didn't want thick, dramatic lines like I did put on there. The brush I'm using is just the brush from AliExpress. What I'm trying to do is just follow some of the lighter lines that are already on the marble, just to kind of highlight them a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know if I succeeded, but at least it doesn't look horrible. The star of this show is that glitter. Oh, it is so, so pretty. These are nice too, the um, water decals. But like I said, I wish I had actually shaped them a little before beforehand. So I'm going to top coat the three completed nails with, I think that's Madame Glam top coat. I don't know why I used Madame Glam top coat. I want to save that for myself. <laughs> But I did uh, top coat the three finished nails because those are complete. I'm not putting any gems or anything. Just the top coat. Pretty basic plain set. And on the two uh, polished nails, I'm going to put a base coat. Cure it. No, I don't cure it. Sorry. My brain is all over the place today. I put a base coat sprinkle the glitter in then cure yes that's the plan and i just use a fan brush to sprinkle in the glitter it's called laser lights from glitter planet and it is a stunner I did a bunch of acrylic sets lately and I just wanted something easy peasy. And not that the acrylic sets were hard. It's just these are so much faster for me because I don't have to file or anything, right? File or buff. I did buff a little bit over the glitter. Um I'm not sure if I left that footage in, but I do put another a base coat. I I cure this one first, then I put another base coat on. And then I cure again. Then I put a, pr a pretty decent top coat on. Cure again. Then buff it. Because uh, you'll feel the glitter if you don't. And if you don't <coughs> like the feeling of anything on your nails, then you need to totally encapsulate it. So once I put the top coat on, I buff it. Then put another layer of top coat, and then that's done. So... These are pretty much done. We're coming to the end of the video. Isn't that glitter just gorgeous? So, anyway, that's it for me this time around. 
Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Love replying to your comments. And I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao for now.